Over the last many years, dealing with all of the serious public health emergencies we've had around the globe, one thing has been common in them all. We've learned that the communication we provide to people in the form of guidance, in the form of advice, is in fact the most crucial thing we can do to minimize the threat. The Emergency Communication Network is WHO's flagship communication training for emergencies. We bring together communication officers from more than 20 countries. The unique thing about this training is that the participants are learning from each other by sharing their experiences, which are very different in, uh, from country to country and organization to organization. In this five-day extensive, intensive simulation, they go through theory sessions and then come out here in the field and we test their messaging. Coming from a partner organization, it has enabled me to understand how the World Health Organization operates. And you meet people you definitely know you're going to work with for the rest of your career. Through ECN, we are not just looking at building the capacities for technical expertise in communication. We also create and simulate an environment where they have to take decisions, taking into account the realities on the ground of the emergencies, the political situation, and still be able to target their messages and impact behavior change to save lives. This is day four of the simulation exercise. The participants were told that there is a cholera outbreak. This morning, they're on their way to a Ministry of Health meeting, and behind me, they are ambushed by the media where we're testing their messaging. There was nothing like the past five days of intense training simulation exercises that presented real life situations for you to be able to support as a communications officer in emergency situations. It was invaluable. Me, I like learning, learning and learning and also learning new types of communication that I will be needed actually when I return to the field. This is the workshop where they form the bonds that will actually come in handy when there is a real emergency and we see the same faces that we've practiced with in a simulated scenario. We see them in a real scenario and that's where it all comes together for us.